Hey y'all, good morning. Happy Wednesday. Today is Wednesday morning. I'm outside with my dog currently. So I'm going to go over an article with you guys here in just a second. It is pertaining to another recall. Y'all, a uh, recall is the last thing we need with all the shortages that we are experiencing or a lot of shortages that uh, most of us are experiencing. I do realize that some people have said that they're not seeing any gaps or anything else on their store shelves. Um, and that does not mean that it won't happen. So on that note, don't become too complacent and think that it won't happen in your area, y'all. Look at all the signs around us. But anyhow, back to this video. Um, I'm just going to go over this article really quick. It kind of just makes you wish that you had enough farmland. I know for myself, I wish I had farmlands to raise like my cows, my chicken, everything. That way we can just know what is going on with our food, where it's coming from, what's in it, what's not in it. But I'm just going to go over this article really quick and I will see you guys in the next video. Nearly 60,000 pounds of frozen raw chicken products sold at Aldi and other stores has been recalled as of Tuesday, August the 10th. Serenade Foods is recalling nearly 60,000 pounds of frozen, raw, breaded, and pre-bound stuffed chicken products that can be contaminated with salmonella and turditis, the USDA Food Safety and Inspections announced on Monday. The products were produced on February 24th and February 25th, 2021, and were shipped to distributors across the country. This is a product label of one of the items involved in the recall. They include specific lots of Dutch Farms chicken with broccoli and cheese packages, Milford Valley chicken, broccoli and cheese, Milford Valley chicken cordon bleu, Kirkwood raw stuffed chicken, broccoli and cheese, and then the Kirkwood raw st uh, stuffed chicken cordon bleu, which are all sold at Aldi. The service said it was concerned that some of these products may be in Americans' freezers and urged them not to eat them. These products should be thrown away or returned to the place of purchase. The service said that it had been working with the CDC and other health officials to investigate get an outbreak of 28 salmonella and enteritis illnesses across eight different states. The illnesses timelines range from February 21st through June the 28th. An open and tight packages of raw, frozen, breaded chicken stuffed with broccoli and cheese were collected from an ill person's home and tested positive for the outbreak strain of salmonella and serditis. The FSIS continues to work with the CDC and state and public health partners on this investigation. Um, eating food that is contaminated with salmonella can cause a, bacteri a bacterial foodborne illness called salmonosis, which is... Um, you know, it can cause diarrhea, abdominal cramps, and fever within 12 to 72 hours after the product is consumed. So make sure you guys throw this out or return if you haven't. 